Hi guys, welcome back. NCWQ here. And today we're looking at an article by National Geographic. Magma found simmering under an extinct volcano. Here's what that means. New analysis provides a stunning peek into inner workings and potential hazards of volcanoes thought to have long gone quiet. This was published on July 17, 2019. Lush rolling hills cradle the still waters of Romania's St. Anne Lake, which rests in an ancient crater from the eruption of the Kiomadal volcano. The peak last blew its top some 30,000 years ago, and its lengthy quiescence had led many to presume the volcano would likely not erupt again. But as it turns out, the rocks miles below the serene sea may be stewing with a surprising amount of heat. A study recently published in Earth and Planetary Science Letters suggests that the system likely harbors between 5 and 14 cubic miles of magma, a maximum volume more than that of 20,000 Great Pyramids of Giza. To be clear, this does not mean an eruption is necessarily in the volcano's future, but the work calls attention to the potential hazards of often overlooked volcanoes that have quietly simmered for tens of thousands of years. We look preferentially at active volcanoes, obviously because they show evidence of real risk, said study author Mikhail Lomonier of the University of Clermont, Auvergne, France. But we shouldn't forget other relatively recent young volcanoes because they could present a risk that we should access. By pairing geophysical and geochemical analysis with numerical simulations, the study gives researchers a stunning peek into what may be brewing beneath Kwamadol, and it promises to help scientists better understand how similar volcanic systems evolve over time. All of this is great work, said Janine Cripper, a volcanologist at the Smithsonian Global Volcanism Program, who was not involved in the study, but she cautions that teasing apart the precise conditions beneath the surface is an incredibly difficult task. It's still not us saying that's what the case is, she says. It's saying we have a lot of data that sh show this is what it might be. External Volcanic Flames at any given time, at least 20 volcanoes are erupting around the world, but there are many more that can potentially be active. The problem is figuring out which ones. Volcanoes like Kwamadal that haven't erupted in the last 10,000 years or so are often called inactive. However, this dividing line is somewhat arbitrary, Krippner says. When it comes to volcanoes, extinct is a very iffy word, she says. Some volcanoes, like the infamous Yellowstone supervolcano, may lie dormant for hundreds of thousands of years between eruptions. One sign that a seemingly quiet volcano has the potential for future eruptions is if volumes of molten rock linger below it, and past studies of Kwamadal had hinted that might be the case. By studying the way seismic waves ricochet through the ground, past researchers spotted some indications of a magma reservoir. Surveys of the subsurface electrical conductivity, a property that is influenced by conditions like the temperature and water content of the rocks, also hinted that the zone between 3 and 17 miles down may be more mush than solid. Yet it was still unclear if the rock was truly molten, and if so, how much magma might be there. Consulting crystal record keepers, to answer these questions, Lomanier and his colleagues first turned to rocks from the volcano's past eruptions. As magma sits beneath the surface, it slowly cools and forms crystals, some of which act as tiny mineralogical record keepers, charting the conditions in which they formed. For example, a class of minerals known as amphiboles change chemistry depending on the temperature and pressure during crystallization. Searching for these crystals in the erupted rock helped researchers learn about the conditions of this ancient magmatic system. The team combined this geochemical data with what they knew of the system's dimensions and ran numerical simulations to determine how quickly it might have cooled through time and to see what the volcanic plumbing could look like today. 
The result, the rocks in the upper crust beneath the volcano are, on average, 15% molten, with some regions as high as 45%. And we're going to switch over here so y'all can look at what we're talking about here. The team verified this result by crafting a model based on measurements of electrical conductivity for previously erupted rock at varying temperatures, measures, and water content. This helped them to inter what was, interpret what was seen before in the electrical conductivity measurements under Kuomodal. This second approach gave, gave a similar result, resulting that the, suggesting that the zone beneath the volcano is indeed between 20 and 58 percent molten. While this is a large range for the amount of magma that could be lingering in Kuomodal's subsurface pipes, all the possible subsurface conditions yield a significant amount of melt for Kuomodal. We have no other options to explain the geophysical anomaly, Lomanier says. Researchers believe that an eruption is possible if the volcano harbors more than 45% molten rock. Below that, the system is all locked up by crystals and it can't erupt, said Michael Ackerson, curator of rocks and ores at the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. Thus, his latest analysis suggests that an eruption may be possible at Kwamadal, but that does not mean it's inevitable. Mushy plumbing. Importantly, this study also probes the question of what such systems deep inside Earth actually look like. The traditional trope of a magma chamber is that is this big, gigantic, menacing looking red hot blob of magma sitting in the crust that's about to erupt and kill us all, Ackerson says. But research increasingly suggests that's likely not the case. Instead, magma reservoirs spend most of their lives quietly stewing in the crust. They're often, at least in part, crystallized, forming a mushy, stony soup with varying proportions of crystals to melt throughout the system. This ratio might drastically differ in the magmatic plumbing of one volcano to the next. For Kuamadal, the researchers believe the molten rock collects in two zones of the mush, an upper region between 3 and 11 miles deep and a lower, hotter reservoir starting about 18.5 miles down. Each of these zones is likely composed of overlapping pockets of molten material of slightly different temperature and composition. For now, it's unclear how the two zones precisely connect, but the new magmatic map still provides valuable information about this volcano's inner workings. This is the new data point in the story of global magmas, Ackerson says. This is one specific volcano and one specific point in time, and that's going to help us get a much broader nuanced picture of how magmas form and evolve. Anyways, you guys, if you enjoyed this article, you can check out this article below the video. Um, there's pictures and videos and stuff on here. Anyways, you guys, much love. I hope you're doing great no matter where you are in the world, day or night. Much love.